two are just, what's the expression? An enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah, is my that friend. is what this rivalry is. And at the end of the day... <laughs> but the quality is still there, though, sorry. Oh, like, the quality, I think in terms of rivalry, I know we're talking about Man United. They don't, they don't want Man United to be there, and they're just happy as it is. But the quality, in terms of even that stat, about one point separating them for how many and, years... And I get that, that, but, that, but this that is the rivalry. point. What they, this is what happens sometimes, isn't it? What happens is instead of saying it's the best quality football between two teams fighting for the title well, that's a very long sentence but, <laughs> yeah, but they, they, they throw out on the rivalry but rivalry encompasses everything there's more needle between brighton and crystal palace every yeah. season than yeah, this yeah. game Arsenal yeah, has more vitriol but then but then you lot but you lot mention about you don't want it to be the spidey thing or like I you don't want to be want, fierce but then i just say want like bro i Pep and Klopp, the minute the, the, the full-time whistle goes, yeah. Pep's giving him a bear yeah. hug. Like, no, 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 I, 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 thought, I thought he was doing a Will Smith at the beginning. Nah, he ain't like that. <laughs> no, like, no, if it was Will Smith, saying, yeah, but I'm not looking for that. And look, some rivalries in the UK stem from political or, or, or regional yes. problems between cities. Like Man United and Liverpool. The reason why... <laughs> it's not a slight. To... To go up to your opponent after the match, extend the hand, say good match, better person won, or in this case, good match, it was a draw, we, we'll, we will meet again. Nothing wrong with that. Doesn't take away from the rivalry. I don't, I, I, I don't get it. Like, these guys want disrespect to happen. They think, they think an intense rivalry is when you're disrespectful to each other. I think... Funny, because as I'm doing this, as I'm being respectful, as the title of this show, I respectfully disagree. As I'm doing that, I'm actually suppressing the urge to say things that would be disrespectful. It's funny. It's weird. It's weird. But I love the content. Again, link will be in the description to the Football Terrace and this episode in particular. Definitely check it out in its entirety. Great content. Um, let's just hear the end of it with regards to this rivalry. But I think you guys get my point here with regards to Liverpool, Manchester City is a great rivalry. There's still a lot more to be played. There's still a lot on the line because of what's at stake, trouble, quad, you know, even not even the number of those titles, but the fact that they're playing for an FA Cup, playing for the EPL, playing for Champions League still, there's a lot going on here. Rivalry only started because... The Manchester docks took work away from the Liverpool docks, and I want to say that was in the late in the in the sixties. Up until then, Liverpool and Man United got on as cities and as football clubs. So that's where that stems from. And I don't want hooliganism to be involved mm. in these rivalries. I am just talking about I really want to beat you, and not because I want to really beat you to win the league. I want to beat you to win the league, the and I want to beat you yeah. for the bragging rights. And the bragging rights are not there when Liverpool beat City. Liverpool fans come at Man United fans and vice versa because you're laughing. At, their rivals aren't in the race. It's, it's, it's like you're teasing them. So it reminds me of, I'll give a lot of analogies today. Okay. See, again, I respectfully disagree. He's seeing the aftermath. Terry's feeling the after effects of what the winner, Liverpool or Manchester City, are doing to his club and to those fans after the fact. But best believe, Manchester City fans are giving it to Liverpool fans. Not as much, because there's not as many of us, right? We're also a lot more dignified, and we don't really get into that, right? We're a humble club because of our, because of our beginnings and because of the nature of our come up. So we don't quite do it as much, but we do do it. I'm sure Liverpool fans lean in heavy with that. Liverpool fans will make you, will make sure you know about it. Best believe. Best believe Liverpool fans will do that. It's like a girl that you like, or you, that likes you, that you said no to. And then she's getting with another guy in the club, but like looking over to see if you're noticing. Yeah. That's what this rivalry is. But if you give it another year or so, I think it's still, how long was, like, Bro, I, no. I feel like, no, but it will go. But it, I feel like no, no. But I feel like it will go as soon as Klopp or it, it the Pep. It, it will only go, happen. It's been going no, no, for no, 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 a period it'll, of time. It'll only happen if the new manager, say Pep leaves, 
because the new manager comes in and doesn't get on with Klopp, it needs something to spark it. It's, I'm talking I about think, quality, though. Right? In terms of quality, it's This rivalry will maintain as long as both clubs are playing for the ultimate glory. That's what it remains. That's what it's all about. It's all, all, it's all about the major honors. As long as these two clubs are battling for it, there will be a rivalry. There's not going to be a continued rivalry if one of the clubs fall off. Of course not. So whether Pep... Whether Klopp leave, if City and Liverpool are still battling it out for the trophy that only one team gets, the rivalry will remain. It's as easy as that. It's as simple as that. Let's hear the rest of it, but I'm sure you guys see what I'm talking about here. Quality, forget quality. But why? No, why do you no, forget no, quality? No, no, because you're not listening. The quality's there. No one's denying that. You're right. We yeah. said three times. The rivalry will never be there because there's no need in. Now, what mm. could start it is a... Remember when Spurs and... Uh, Liverpool fans don't like Harry Kane because Harry Kane and Salah were, were, were fighting out for the golden boot and Harry Kane claimed that goal on his daughter's life that no one thought hit him. If there's a moment like that and it causes needle amongst the fans, that's when a rivalry can stem. There needs to be a moment. And I'm, again, I'm not talking a violent moment. There needs to be a moment or, or a pitch, comment or something mm. said or done that sets the fans against each How other. Brighton, what happened earlier in the season? That's a rivalry, bro. No, Brighton, Brighton is to, is to do with the actual like the manager and the fans. No, but so. that's, that's 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 our point. Like a rivalry is more than just an on the pitch. It's more than just an argument. Mm. Like, the yeah, I guess if you see it like that. Okay, I respectfully disagree. The content on this show amazing. Continue to check it out. See the rest of this clip. A gentleman on here, Menu fans, obviously coming through a, a Menu lens, Menu focus. I'd, it'd be a very different and interesting conversation to have had a Liverpool and Manchester City fan within that conversation as well, or even um, fans of other clubs, just for a different perspective. There are so many moments, and I I talked about them briefly earlier. In, the, in this video, and, and I know I'm probably going on long now, but from some of the key, some of the key grips that have happened over the years, as early as 2016, because one, manager-wise, Klopp and Pep are now both in the league, what they're playing for, league cups, titles. I mentioned company not getting a red for his tackle on Salah, I talked about Mane gripping up for an Andino. Ber uh, Bernardo Silva disrespectfully not honoring Liverpool as they won. And the fact that since 2019, City retaining the title by one point, preventing Liverpool from winning their first EPL with, within 30 years to Liverpool then winning the following year, now to City winning it a year later, and now this year, present day, City trying to retain the title as well as potentially win a treble, and Liverpool making an attempt to, to win the quadruple. This rivalry is a great one. It's building, it's growing on itself, it's expanding. It's too early to say that this isn't great because it is great. All the things that I listed, and there's way more than that. It's human nature to be protective of your own records, right? Your own accomplishments. But it's also human nature to exceed and innovate and go beyond. It's inevitable. It's a matter of accepting it, but I understand as a fan of your club to want to hold on and maintain it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Episode two, I respectfully disagree. I'm Vader Games. This is Vader Games TV. Please, please do your part. Did not mention this, but please do your part 
hit that follow button. Subscribe, live shows or on Twitch. I do then chop it up and provide highlights on my YouTube channel. So please go there, subscribe. Um, every, every, sub, every sub helps. Every like is, it's free, but it means a lot. Helps grow the channel. The humble beginning, I'm trying to get to 100 subs. Please be one of those first hundreds. Trying to expand this channel. And what, I'm, what I do, and I'm doing this for this show as well, it's called the Vader Games Shoe Cam. All right. Vader Games Shoe Cam was asked by, by a fan, by a viewer, by a friend. And as a result, I've included that in my show. Check out these shoes for tonight. Here we go. Vader, Vader, Vader Games. They're not laced up, but you can see what I can see the nice. Nice color here. The previous shoes, if you check out the, the some, some of the previous episodes, I had the shoes that obviously had Manchester City inspiration in them. These are just weather so nice out here. You know, you can wear these with a nice pair of jeans, quality slacks. But that's what I've got rocking tonight. Vader, Vader, Vader games. So again, please do your part. Follow this channel, turn on that notification button. Don't miss out on any future postings and support your boy. Follow on Twitch, follow on Twitter, and please hit that sub button on YouTube. I'm Vader Games. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm out.